Today, I will show you how to compile plugins on Linux from Real Engine. I've used this from UE4 to UE5 without any issues. Note, this will not work with Epic's pre-compiled version. You will have to compile from source in order to be able to do this. Firstly, double check the plugin you want to use. It might already have Linux support. You can check this on the product page. In some cases, things like materials, animations, sounds and the like don't need to be compiled. They are just assets and even though the product page might not say it supports Linux, it will work just fine. If it does, then simply drop the plugin into your engine, plugin, marketplace folder. You might have to create the marketplace folder. If it doesn't support Linux, you will need to make a backup of the engine. Every time I've tried to use the live engine to compile the plugin, it's broke it to the point where I've had to recompile it all over again. You only have to do this once and then you can keep reusing it for future plugins. Next, find the plugin you want to compile. In this easy example, I'm going to use the free plugin called Level Designer System. The first thing you want to do is navigate to the plugins you plugin file. LD Assistant 5.1 Data Engine Plugins Marketplace LD Assistant. And in here you'll find a file called ldassistant.uplugin. Now, open this U plugin file in a text editor like Gedit, C Lion, VS Code, anything really. This is basically a JSON file. So find the modules section and make sure the platform allow list has Linux with a capital L in the list. If it doesn't, add it. If it doesn't have a platform allowed list, add it. If it doesn't have a modules, add it. It's just easier to add it if it's missing. Save and then exit. Now, navigate to your copied version of Unreal and go to engine build batch files. Open a terminal and then run the command dot slash run uat dot sh space build plugin capital B capital P space hyphen plugin capital P equals and in quotation marks put the path to your u.plugin file, the full path. Then put a space and put hyphen package, capital P, equals, and in quotation marks, put where you want the plugin to end up. You can't do this inside the engine. You have to do it externally and then move it later. After that, put a space and put hyphen target platforms, and I've set it to equal Linux with a capital L. Now you need to wait. The first time you compile a plugin, it's going to take a while. After that, it'll be much quicker. After the plugin is compiled, you might get a success message like you see on the screen now. Simply drop the new folder that was created into your engine, plugin, marketplace folder. You might have to create the marketplace folder. Now that you've done this, you can start on real and enable your plugin from the plugins menu. That was the easy path. In some cases, you might get an error. These are going to be C++ errors, which in my experience are simply minor changes which vary between C++ compilers. Here I have built a plugin called Narrative, and as you can see I get two errors. Looking through the errors, this is the first error that you can see, it's complaining that it doesn't understand what hash end if space in editor is, and it even tells us how to resolve this. One thing to be sure of is you will notice the errors state the new build that we are compiling to don't edit those files, you need to go and edit the source. When you recompile, it will just remove it from that folder so it's pointless. So you're going to want to look at the end to find where the file is, then navigate to that location. So narrative, source, narrative, public, dialog.h. Open it with an editor, find the issue, and then I'm just going to comment it out just like it says to. The second error, honestly, I can't explain. I don't have enough C++ knowledge to explain it. All I know is it's saying it can't find a file that exists within the engine. So instead, I put the full location to the file and it seems to work. So now we rerun the command as above and as you can see, it's compiled successfully. If it does, then simply drop the plugin into your engine, plugin, marketplace folder. And with that, you now know how to compile plugins from Unreal 4 and 5 in Linux. If you can't figure out any of the errors you have, try contacting the developer and see if they can offer any help. Otherwise, feel free to join the Discord and I'll try my best to help you. Thanks for watching.